Asheville and Buncombe County are kind of a blue bubble in the middle of a, of a big red sea. I think Buncombe County is changing. I think it's becoming more diverse all the time. We don't have a lot of corporate headquarters or manufacturing because of the terrain, depend on tourism for the economy. I'm very concerned that the politicians have been focused on giving better off people tax breaks. Meanwhile, the services for people who are not well off are being cut because of the funding being cut. I don't see enough attention to how to boost the people who are living below the, the living wage level. Most of my friends here in Asheville, they have trouble gaining jobs, they have trouble keeping them. I just had two friends who lost their jobs because they were outed at work, and so they were fired. Uh, one for being transgender, one for being uh, a lesbian. If you look at the income disparity, it's driven by economics and race drives economics. Racism here is probably greater than I've ever expected it to be. Locally, housing is a major issue that we need to address. Again, it's exacerbated by the income differential is what drives a lot of that. The demand to live here has really driven the cost up, just a basic supply and demand. And because of the topography, we're restricted as to how much we can build and where we can build. It's very worrisome that 25% of the children in North Carolina are living in poverty. And the poverty level is exceedingly low. I think we need to put more funding in the education system. You know, we rank among the last in the country. Part of that is because we don't have enough teachers, we don't pay teachers enough, and I just find that offensive. Politicians are missing is the importance of early childhood education and the fact that a lot of people can't afford it because it costs as much as going to college now. The, the population in North Carolina is feeling disenfranchised and we're supposed to own the government and I, I'm, I'm tired of that. I worry about people not having the opportunity to experience the wealth in this country. I don't know if our representatives in Washington can relate to everyday people. I don't think they know what it's like to be moderate income or low income, the way they behave. <laughs>